Hey guys, what's up? I am here to talk to you about what happened the other day. And those of you who know, and those of you who don't know. So, we're riding on the bus, going through Pratchett Road, and all of a sudden I hear Star say, Hold on. And so we go, into, we're still in the same lane as we are, and we go into a ditch. And then she tries to pull out of it, but she's going just fast enough to, um, you know, like, overcross into the other lane. And so, um, she goes in the next lane, and she, she's going just fast enough to go down into the field that was there. And, um, she runs over a telephone pole, and we start rolling. I'm still awake for the first, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, I felt everything around me moving and just me hitting every single seat that came into my, uh, into my, uh, contact. And, um, it was pretty scary, you know, listening to this song right here before it happened. And, uh, during, because I had one earbud in and the other one out, just in case somebody said something to me. And, um, you know, it was, it was pretty scary. I mean, like, right at the part where they say you're about to miss everything is, is about the part where we go down and start rolling. It's pretty good. And so I wake up that day. Uh, yeah, obviously that day, and, um, I look around, not a clue what's happening, blood on the ceiling, and, um, all over a seat, the seat I woke up in was covered in blood, my face is just hitting it, and I woke, I think that's the seat I woke up in, it's really kind of more of a blur, but, um, I woke up in there. And I'm looking around, freaking out, like, and I ask Nate, I said, what, what just happened? And then he says we were in a bus accident. I was looking around, like, oh my god, did this really just happen to me? Did this really just happened? I was freaking out, and he tried handing me my phone, but I was so skittish that I, I couldn't even focus on it. I was technically in shock, and I remember looking down at my hand, and then blood, I mean a drop of blood drips onto my hand, and that's when I really start freaking out. Uh, I was terrified, I mean, legit terrified, scared out of my mind, shaking, just freaking out, completely lost, and so I hear Tony and Gino just like freaking out, and everybody's like, um, that's what I'm looking for, they're like, moaning in pain, I was, I was too, because I couldn't even barely get up. It was that scary. I just not something you want to experience ever again. Definitely not in my case. You know, and then uh, Car uh, Star calls it in pretty calmly, and she um <sighs> she's like uh, Route 69 to base. Uh, no, not base. The dispatch or something maybe. And she said we've just been in a bus accident. And she said it really calmly too. You know, you have to stay calm for them to understand you. Because she was in shock too. We were all in shock. So we hear the sirens. I hear the sirens. Um, I think they got somebody off before me. They got Nate off, and then they got me off. The others, I don't know what happened to them. But um, definitely be something on the periphery and. All these people tell me, oh, it happened a while ago, why don't you forget about it and stop ranting about it, like, it's your excuse for everything. Well, guess what? It's not my excuse for everything. You did not go what I went through, and you will never understand what that was like for me. So don't tell me shit, because I'm not going to listen to you. You weren't in it, were you? No. So don't act like you know what I've been through. And so... They came, the ambulance came, they got him, and then they tried to get me to get up, and they laid me on a backboard and carried me off. 
And that's when they loaded me up into the ambulance. And, um, it was pretty scary. Nice air conditioning, but, um, it was air conditioned, for sure. And, um, you know, I'm just sitting there, and they put this mask on my face, and they tell me to breathe, and I'm, like, looking at it, and I'm just like, what is this thing on my face? You know, it was pretty comical and everything. And, um, it was pretty, ugh, I was like, what in the heck is this thing on my face? And the lady's like, oh, it's just to help you breathe, because some people freak out. And I'm over here like, oh, so I can breathe, <laughs> you know? Yeah, she was trying to keep me awake, because, you know, I had my eyes closed, I was, I, I was getting really, um sleepy and everything because of all the blood that was on my face and um you know they brought me I think I, my eyes were closed because there was glass like right here right near my eye and there was a giant hole right here and I had this little bone thing sticking out it was gross and blood I feel the warm blood all over my face and if you guys need to know that I did <laughs> they started clipping my clothes and, um, I didn't care because at the point I wanted them to save me, you know, I didn't want to die. And so, they, so I got, we got to the hospital, and, um, let's see, so, I still have glass in my face. I mean, before, when I was in the ambulance, they, uh, I had a little longer hair, and they tried washing it off with, uh, the saline spray or whatever it's called. Go pushing my hair back and everything. That's why I look pushed back in my photos because they tried cleaning me off at least a little bit. So they got some of it off of the dry blood stayed. You know, that was like right here-ish and over my eyebrow. Um, but yeah. And so they brought me there and they took the glass out of my face. And, uh, got another scar here it's kind of hard to see but um man they kind of just they didn't even clean the blood off either for a while and um so I stood there they got that out stabilized me you know got me on some medication and I sit there and I start calling people and they're trying to call my mom but she's working so it was pretty difficult for her and um she finally gets a hold of mom and she gets mad she's like where's my daughter what's going on with like, and then the Bonesville bus garage is like, we've been calling you for a while. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, why are you... Like, fuck Beeville bus garage. Fuck the fuck their stupid buses. I never like buses again, ever. I never did. Yeah, I never will. But, yep, so I was laying on my bed, waiting for my mom and grandma to come. Because if the grandma came, she would have burst into tears. And so... They get to the hospital and they're looking around for me and everything. And they look in the in the room where I am. They're like, they can't be they can't be Brianna because there's so much blood on my face. And they come I, and they were just they they didn't I don't I don't think they cried they were just horrified by the way I looked in I looked in, looked <laughs> that's not a word but um yeah so came in um doing a whole bunch of crap to my eyes. Uh, they put some weird yellow drops in my eyes. So they kind of like turned, my eyes turned brown a little bit and my white of my eyes was yellow. And so, cause they were trying to check that there was something wrong with my eyes because they knew I passed out and everything. So, but yeah. And um, when I, uh, when they were trying to figure out what to do with my eye, cause you know, it was open. And there was blood, you know, it was like, <laughs> and so they decided to sew it up, and I started crying because I was scared. I was completely scared to get, you know, it's like, can you imagine? I, I, it's just scary. It was, it was scary. I was crying. My mom felt so bad. She had to stand on the other side of the bed because of how my eye looked. She was horrified, and she didn't want to, like, throw up or something. <laughs> That's mean, but, you know, eh, I guess I, I can't blame her. But, um... So me up, and I stayed there for a while. My aunt Melissa showed up from my dad's side of the family. Cause she was the only one who seemed to care. You know, if anybody else did, they would have came. But nope, they don't care. But so she was crying when she walked in. She's like, "Oh my god!" And um, 
star came in and she started crying because Lisa was holding her up and the lady who is her best friend who is now my bus driver you know we're a small world she's my new bus driver Lisa and um, she brings her in she's holding her up because she you know shock you know everybody else is everybody else is gone you know they came and visited me but they, they left because they were as badly injured and so you know she came in um, she's crying you know Lisa was telling her it's not her fault you know it's not your fault and I was so I've told her I said star it's not your fault it was the road I can never blame her she was the best bus driver I ever had in my life and I will never blame her, ever. And before she left me, she kissed my forehead and she left me. It was so sad. But, um, yep. So later that night, my mom asked me, do you want to stay around or do you want to go home? And, you know, obviously I don't, I don't like being alone at the hospital, so I wanted to go home. I couldn't even stand up straight. They had, my grandpa and mom had to carry me. Not carrying me, but hold me up and help me walk. I was limping. I think they had me in a wheelchair, actually. And they got me in the car. I felt really nauseous in the car. I never threw up, but I was very nauseous. Nos nauseous. And, um... Went home. Sat there for weeks in pain. Taking medication, putting med medication on my eye and everything. And eventually this... Um, the scars dissolved. The, I mean, not the scars. The stitches dissolved. And it just kind of turned into that. You know, it, uh, it's, it looks pretty good now. I uh, healed pretty well. But, you got the one under here somewhere. Still feel like there's something in it because it feels funny. See right there. And every so often I have to get steroids injected in my chin one because it hurts sometimes, to be honest. And, um, yeah, that's basically my story. So, thanks for listening. Please, no hate. I know I still talk about it. How could I forget? I'm never gonna forget. I'm gonna have this permanent reminder for the rest of my life. So, posting it to YouTube. So, watch it if you can. Comment if you have any questions. And, um, stay tuned in for more videos.